Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Do They Love You? Alright, so this is going to be stone number one with the amethyst, stone number two with the rose quartz, stone number three with the tiger's eye, and stone number four with the aventurine. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you have to and get out your pendulum so you can help you, help to help you choose a stone and while you're doing that I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video please give my video a thumbs up I really appreciate it and it really helps me out if you'd like to be notified of future videos please subscribe and hit the bell notification and if you'd like to have a more private reading you see how to do that in the description below all right so let's go ahead and get started and let's find out if they love you all right so I have the cars associated with stone number one with the amethyst and let's find out if they love you. So we have the Page of Cups in the reverse, the Four of Swords, we have the Hierophant, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Magician, and we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So let's go ahead and go over the signs that could be associated with this reading. Doesn't have to be, but you could very well could find synchronicity. I always try to keep my readings open for synchronicities, okay? So I, it's what I mostly work on. I'm working on synchronicity. People think that they're working. I'm, wor I'm not working on divination as much as I'm working on synchronicity. So uh, the Page of Cups could be any water sign. But also we have the Queen of Pentacles. If I can... I don't have this one memorized very good yet. Oh, Sagittarius Capricorn. Okay, so it could be a Sagittarius Capricorn. We have the Four of Swords, which is Libra. We have the Magician, which is, it's like I know, but I want to make sure. Um, Gemini Virgo. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, and we have the Ten of Swords which is Gemini, but hmm. I see you, I'm trying, oh, okay. hmm. I just see you, I don't really see them in this reading. I'm trying to figure out who is them. It might be this. It could be this person. It could be a Libra. It could be the Four of Swords. This one's tricky. I definitely feel like it's talking about you. So if only your sign comes up in this reading, don't be surprised. So I do see that I'm feeling like this is you. Most likely. Okay. This could just be them there. Right here. And I see that they are emotionally immature. They are kind of disconnected from their intuition. They're, this is like a, a disappointing relationship. They may be like really self-centered, needy, or insecure. They may expect you to care for them as if they were helpless, like a helpless little child. Yeah, this person doesn't trust their intuition. Inter intuition. So the person, I guess, could be any water sign in Libra. I'm leaning towards mostly here, and could be Taurus. This is like kind of this spread has gone a weird direction. I don't, uh, I don't know. I guess so you could be still with this person, but maybe not doing things together. You're very so close. To, oh no, you could be totally broken up. Or I don't, I'm still trying to understand. I'm starting to figure out something new about the positioning when they do certain things. So I don't know if this is a known strategy, what I do. This is, I'm trying to make the cards more open, more susceptible to, um, to synchronicity. And giving, I'm trying to give the universe or God or spirit or whatever you want more control over the reading. 
I'm trying to use my intuition. So, uh, to read the cards, to figure out the placements, who's who, and all that. So, I feel like either someone, I feel like you could be totally clinging on some dust to something hopeless. And you should be looking for a fresh start if you're not already. I feel like you are. You're definitely manifesting. You are manifesting. This person, I feel like the other person is like totally looking... They're looking inward, but not in a hermit type of way or even a high priestess type of way. They're like looking inward and they're just like, mm, they're just like keeping to themselves. And I feel like they're trying to manifest a new start. I know, I feel like they have some kind of, they're, it's like they're trying to understand what's going on. They're, this is like an experience for them. I feel like this is a very big experience and like you almost like I feel it's almost like that you were maybe even a mentor almost to them they're definitely learning a lot from you you could be much older than them doesn't have to be you know some people can be very immature but this person is really immature and um inexperienced maybe even too and this is divinely guided they may have faith that they can actually fix this so, after, after, um, they think that after, possibly after they can be with you and have, they might be clinging on to it and one of you might be trying to go for a fresh start or you both could end up doing it. I don't see anything saying that they love you. I don't see anything outright other than that they are the page of cups in the reverse. So, I do feel like they probably do love you. But this relationship doesn't seem to be doing so good. I feel like it's it's on the verge to ending. But let me know, because the ten of ten of swords in the reverse could be either you're clinging to something hopeless, or it's like a recovery or a relapse. It's one or the other. But this does mean that is is time for a fresh start. That's what it's saying. It is time for a fresh start, and I feel like. I feel like the divine, the universe, is trying to make it an open, is opening a door for you. Okay? You are manifesting, so be careful what you think about. You are in manifestation. So, and like, so you are able to manifest things right now. Okay? They're not. You are. So you should manifest whatever you like. And I do feel like this is divinely guided for you to be able to, I almost feel like for you to be able to split off and do something else if you want to make it easier on you so anyways that's all i have for stone number one if you like this kind of reading please give my video a thumbs up i really appreciate it and it really helps me out if you would like to be notified of future videos please subscribe and hit the bell notification and if you'd like to have a private reading you can see how to do that in the description below all right well thank you very much and now i'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number two all right, so here we are with stone number two with the rose quartz, and let's find out if your person loves you. So we have the king of swords, we have the king of cups, we have the nine of swords, we have death, we have the six of swords, and we have the page of wands. So let's go ahead and go over what cards, what signs could be associated with these cards. So we have the king of swords, I would get these. I'm going to get these. All right, that one's Capricorn Aquarius. And then this one right here is Scorpio, which is death. We have the King of Cups, which is Libra Scorpio. And then we have the Six of Swords. which is Aquarius. We have the Page of Wands, which could be any fire sign. I will say though, this this has been coming up in a lot of Cancer readings and this is like a lot of the energy the Cancer's in right at this moment. It might not stay that way. It doesn't have to be okay. I'm not saying it's a Cancer for sure. I'm just saying this one keeps coming up a lot. I don't know. And all the Cancer readings I've been getting, so. It's not impossible. And then we have the Nine of Swords. 
Like this is their energy, but it doesn't have to be. Nine of Swords is Gemini. So it could be Gemini. They're the Cancer and Gemini is closely related. I'm almost a Gemini actually myself, so I was born a couple days different. All right, so. Those kings are really catching my eye. So we got the King of Cups, which is Libra Scorpio. And we have the King of Swords, which is Capricorn Aquarius. Okay, it feels like it keeps going back and forth. One of you definitely is probably the air sign and one of you is the... is the... the air sign. I might as well not even say that Libra is an air sign. One of you is probably a Libra Scorpio. just keeps going back and forth okay who's moving away from this emotionally Libra Scorpio is moving away from Aquarius emotionally and then we have Aquarius it feels like this person the king of swords is likely have ended this relationship the relationship is over and it feels like you're both probably trying to move away from this relationship mentally at least I don't see any cups so like I don't have the eight of cups here and then we have the nine of swords which feels like you possibly and they might be actually showing up there's lots of air here so this one's a little tricky I will say I'm trying to I feel like I'm trying to decipher a code here the cancer one I mean the Gemini one there's probably not a Gemini it's probably like I'm if this is the other thing going on it doesn't have to be a Gemini there's gonna be a lot less I'm not saying there's not gonna be any people with Gemini's but there's gonna be a lot less of them it's like a victim type mentality and a new idea it's like weird like a new start a new message a new start this one's definitely weird. Oh, okay. I'm feeling like the King of Swords is most likely the person who's going to have a new idea and is going to have like a new start going off on an adventure. And it feels more like you're not going to be the Aquarius, but some of you will be the Aquarius. I can't even say that. I actually, now that I say that, I feel it the other way too. I feel both. But the Aquarius definitely is trotting off to go have an adventure and the Scorpio Pisces and uh, the Scorpio Libra person is most likely Scorpio. What are they doing? They're trapped in a mental, like a, they're in a mental prison that the reason why I'm feeling like that most likely is you is because you're here inquiring about this, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, there's like, wait, you're like worried about them going on, a, on an adventure. You're definitely in, or if you are, it could be another person. Whoever this Nine of Swords is, is definitely up in their head. They're very worrying. They're having like nightmares. I feel like it's most likely this, this King of Cups. It doesn't matter. The gender doesn't matter. The other Kings, which would be Scorpio Libra. 
a Scorpio Libra could actually be Gemini, so there might be a small percentage of Geminis. They're worried about a new start. Sorry, this one's tricky, guys. You got me. You got me. This one's harder to decipher. It's like, I could definitely see the dynamics here, these first four cards, but this one, like, it's a little bit confusing here as to feel it because there's both swords here. There's both air energy, so I'm having a hard time figuring out who is running off to go have an adventure. So I feel like one of you, one of you, it could be the Scorpio who's running off to have an adventure. And then it could be a Gemini... This is so confusing. The reason why I think it's confusing, I think there's, okay, I feel like there's an Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini thing going on here. Where some of you are going to be Gemini, some of you are going to be Aquarius, and some of you are going to be Scorpio. And then some of you are going to even be Libra. And that's where things are getting confusing. So what I'm getting is that some of you are going to be... This is like going back and forth. So some of you are going to be like, you're going to be the Scorpio and they're going to be the Aquarius. And, and there's another dynamic where they're like just saying Scorpio and Aquarius doesn't have to be. But um, there's going to, where it's going to be the other way around where you're going to be the, you're going to be the Aquarius and, or the, you're going to be the Aquarius or a Gemini or something. And they're going to be the Scorpio or Libra. See, it's going, it's like, I feel like it's half and half. Like some of you, so uh, there, what's interesting though, is that there's a, there's like going to be a, quite a bit of you who are actually in the same kind of relationship that, but they're just like the, the, the gender roles have been just switched. But it feels like the Aquarius is going off the six of swords person. I don't know. I feel like it could go both ways because we have... Okay, so we have Scorpio here. We have a Six of Swords, which is Aquarius going off an adventure. So Scorpio could be going off an adventure, moving on and going off an adventure, or even Aquarius because it's an Aquarius card. I don't know. You tell me who's on an adventure, who's going off and trying new things and having new ideas and doing new things. So anyways, I'm done <laughs> trying to figure out this one completely. So it, just let me know how it resonates in the comments below what dynamic that you're part of. Anyways, that's all I have for show number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. Now I'm gonna move on to stone number three. All right, so I have the cards for stone number three with the tiger's eye, and let's find out if this person loves you. So we have the six of cups in the reverse. We have the devil. We have death in reverse. We have the knight of pentacles in the reverse. We have the two of swords in the reverse, and we have, and we have the fool in the reverse. So what is going on here? I will tell you. No. <laughs> This is a whole bunch of no. Okay, no, 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 all day long, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over the, the signs associated with this reading. Um, so the Six of Cups could be a Scorpio. We have the Knight of Pentacles, which is Virgo Leo. We have the Devil, which is Capricorn. We have the Two of Swords, which is Libra. We have the Fool, which is Aquarius. Yep. And we have Death, which is Scorpio. There's a, definitely some kind of Scorpio. There's a lot of you Scorpios and Aquariuses having some kind of toxic relationship. Stop dating Scorpios with Aquarius. Oh my God. I keep seeing all this dynamic and it's not pretty. It's not even just me. I see it with other readers, like in other people's channels. They're like, oh, it could be us. I'm, I'm doing an Aquarius reading. All right. Uh, it could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. And this is a hell no. Okay. <laughs> this is a toxic situation. This is a toxic situation. 
This person is thinking about you very negatively and they're almost even stuck on that feeling. They just sit around and they're just pissed. I feel like they're just pissed all the time. They're very upset with you. They have burned this bridge. This is a very toxic situation. And they are probably not even talking to you. They're trying to give you the silent treatment. Nothing. They, they don't want anything to do with anything with you. They have burned that bridge. There is no leap of faith. That, there is no way. This is a no, no, no. I don't want nothing to do with you. This is an awful situation. I'm never going to do that again. Okay. So, there's your answer. <laughs> Does this person love you? No. If anything, they loathe you. They might even hate you. So stay away from this person. So anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my, my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future video, if you'd like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notifications. The bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you see how to do that in the description below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number four. Hell to the no right here. All right, so I have the cards associated with stone number four with the adventuring. And let's find out if your person loves you. So we have justice. We have the knight of wands. We have the king of cups in the reverse. We have the tower in the reverse. We have the queen of pentacles or coins. And we have the king of swords. Oh my God, what have you done? What is this? Who is this? Who, what, what is this? Madness. There's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of people for just being such a small amount. Okay. Let's go over the signs associated with this and let's try to figure it out. So we have justice, which is Libra. We have the tower, which is Aries. And then we have the knight of wands, which is Scorpio, Sagittarius. We have the queen of pentacles, which is Sagittarius, Capricorn. So there's some double Sagittarius going on here. So there could be a Sagittarius here. Okay, and then we have the King of Swords, which is Aquarius Capricorn. So it could be um, a Capricorn Sagittarius thing going on here. Then we have the King of Cups, and that is Libra Scorpio. That's Libra. Libra. That's Libra, Libra Scorpio. I'm trying to figure it out. You guys really, the Knight of Wands is. Libra, Libra, Scorpio. Oh my God, there's so many of you who are like, you're, there's like a lot of you. That's what's going on here. There's a lot of you that are like, have these, have a lot of dynamics here. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of you here. Okay. So there's, again, I'm running into the same type of issue I had with stone number two. It's not the same reading though. They're not really related, but I have the same type of thing going on. I have multiple people going on here and it's trying to tell me something. And some of you are going to be like, Say some of you are going to be Sagittarius. You're going to be Sagittarius and they're going to be a Capricorn. The other person is going to be a Capricorn. They're going to be the Sagittarius and you're going to be the Capricorn. It's going to go flat. It's going to go back and forth. <sighs> Let me try. Okay, this is getting tricky. So I got to figure out these sign things to help me figure out. The signs actually help me to figure out who is who and who is doing what exactly and what energy they're in. So... So, okay, I'm feeling like some of you are going to be a Libra or a Scorpio, and you're going to be in the energy of this King of Swords, which is Capricorn Aquarius. So, you're going to, gosh, this is freaking confusing. And then, we have the Queen of Pentacles. I think that you might be whoever... I have a good chance that you are whoever this is, so. Sagittarius Capricorn, this one's Sagittarius Scorpio. Sagittarius. Okay, this is your energy. Out the Libra 
different thing. Okay. Most likely there's not Aries going on here. If there is, there's like a very not most of you are not gonna be. There's definitely like a Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn thing going on here. King of Wands, Scorpio, Cancerius, King of Cups, which is Libra, Scorpio, and then we have Libra. Maybe we should just try to eliminate that. Let me know in the comments below below if this is if there's a Libra in here. Say number four, Libra, yes. And say who it is if it's you or them. Alright, because you will help me. I feel like most likely this is going to be you. I feel like you found something out that is like so horrible. It's not that horrible, but it's like it's horrible to you, but not enough to like maybe end things. I feel like this might be you. I think I'm starting to see something here. Capricorn Aquarius and then the Queen of Pentacles, Sagittarius Capricorn. So I feel like one of you is probably Capricorn. And then the Knight of Wands, King of Cups. Okay, I'm seeing it now. Okay, so you're trying to think whoever is the Queen of Pentacles, which is most likely Capricorn. No, not Capricorn. Most likely a, yeah, okay, a Capricorn. Most likely a Capricorn. The bulk of you probably will be. And then this one over here. is probably a Scorpio. It's probably a Scorpio Capricorn thing going on here. Okay, so let's just say this is Capricorn sign, this is Scorpio sign. So it seems like on the Scorpio side up here, uh, anyway, something happened and the balance must be had. There definitely is seeking balance. I feel like possibly whoever this Capricorn most likely is. I'm just going to keep referring to as a Capricorn, but it's the Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this is most likely did something to cause a little tower fall. Like the tower in the reverse is like the tower, but a little tower. So it's like bad, but not enough to destroy everything. It's like maybe like a crack in the foundation of things. And I see this other person, which is probably a Scorpio. There's a high probability of most of them being Scorpio. But anyways, this Nine of Wands is seeking justice. They want, they might be even judging you for the situation, but they definitely want balance to be made and they are very upset. And you're trying to think about this logically. I feel like they do love you because we do have the King of Cups. They're just very upset. So they do love you, they're just unhappy with what's going on here. And I feel like they're trying so hard and they actually may even, they may even be coming off as being emotionally disconnected or something. You know what I mean? Like, uh, they may be trying to act like they're not showing any emotion or something. They may be trying to even block their emotions, but I don't feel like that they are. I feel like that they definitely do not have their emotions under control. Not really. Maybe feeling emotionally hardened and they're having intense negative emotions. They're definitely stressed emotionally. What is going on here? What has happened? That, look how hard I just worked to try to figure out who was doing what. Because all of you, you have similar signs. And your, your cars are similar. So it's a little confusing. 
But I hope that actually helps somebody, some kind of reader, maybe somewhere out there. So, yes, they do love you. They're having a hard time with whatever's going on. If you feel like it, you can let me know what's going on in the comments. I'll read it. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do it in the description below. I can't talk. How to do it in the description below. Anyways, that's all I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. God bless.